Hi, I'm Emily, the lead 3D artist here at CSM. I'm making this video as a slight overview of how I ended up making this uh, scene in Unreal using just CSM meshes. Um, the only thing that is not CSM is the grass. First thing you're going to want to do is find some photos that you want to generate on the CSM website. I use Midjourney to use free AI generated images and I just saved the image. So once you're done with that and you have all the images you want to generate, I decided to do some rocks, some trees. I did like two variations of trees and then I wanted a main structure on my scene. So I also have a couple choices for that as well. So now I just download the OBJ and also I did the same exact things to the other environment pieces I want on the scene. So I did, again, I did some rocks, I did some um, trees and things like that. So back in Unreal, I'm just kind of showing you all the meshes that I did end up using on the scene. So the two trees, um, feel welcome to use as many trees as you like. You can have like three variations, four variations, same with the rocks and things like that. Um, and then I had two structures, a little rock structure, and then the one on the cliff. The grass is really easy to make. It's just a couple of planes made in Blender, and then I made a custom material for it to move and take on the color of the ground wherever it's placed. As you can see, it's a really low poly mesh made from Blender, just a couple planes that are bended and double sided it has this custom material on it. Uh, this is a material instance, so I can actually alter the material on scene instead of going back and forth into the material. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube to make this certain material or a different material that's similar. So for the actual landscape, as you can see, it's just a flat plane. Um, Unreal actually has a super easy and friendly way of making uh, landscapes in the engine. So you're going to go to the landscape mode um, and then you'll see a bunch of options. Since I already have a landscape there, um, I won't. you won't see the same options as I have now. You're going to want to create a new one um, to your preference and then you can just sculpt and um, add hills, add uh, cliffs, and things like that all on this landscape. It's super easy, really helpful. Um, here I'm just showing you an example of making a quick hill. As you can see, it's really easy and you can get extremely creative with this. Um, make sure you have like some sort of reference so you can look to and kind of reference toward. So for any grass or if you have flowers and things like that, things that you want to populate the ground with, um, it's easy to use the foliage tool. Um, here I did it with the grass, so I just selected the mesh and then you can here alter how many to put down, the density, um, their height, the randomness of the height and the rotation of the mesh. You're just going to make sure you have it clicked and then you can actually go in scene and enlarge the brush or make the brush smaller. And then you can kind of just plop on the grass in scene. It's super helpful and really quick and easy. Once you have your landscape all done, you can actually start populating the landscape itself with all of the CSM meshes that you generated. Um, you can always check a camera to make sure everything is looking good. As you can see, I have like trees in the very far back just floating, but in the camera it looks like they're very far away. You just want to make sure you populate as much as you can so it looks very full and natural. 
So I do already have a video that you can reference using uh, CSM to Mixamo. Um, you're going to want to find for this uh, whatever animations you want, but in particular I want fighting animations. So I found a couple of fighting animations, like there's fight A and fight B, where if you have two characters they're going to sync up during the, each animation so it looks like they're actually fighting each other. Or if you want to create it yourself, you can always do like single punches, kicks, things like that. Um, just get really creative and have fun. Um, but yeah. Once you find the animations you want, you're just going to hit the download button and then hit with skin and then download. As you can see, I have a bunch of animations for the alien character and the same for the other character. You kind of want a variation of idols, fight scenes, uh, maybe even deaths. Um, it all depends on what you want your animation scene to be. Um, I wasn't sure which one was going to look correct, so I download a bunch. So when importing your Mixamo animations, you're going to want to first upload the first animation. This is going to be your target skeleton. So when you, anim when you upload it, it's going to give you some options. Make sure you have skeletal mesh checked, import check, import mesh checked, and then you're going to keep the skeleton option as none. Um, and then you can also keep the material as create new material if you want to import the materials already or you can press none if you want to just import them manually. For the next couple animations that you do import, whenever you check get those options, make sure you uncheck import mesh and then you have the option where it says skeleton, you're going to select that current skeleton that you just made. So for this one, like if I imported another animation, I would select the robot skeleton. After importing, you can see the skeleton, and then you can see all the animations that are on that skeleton, just to make sure everything is looking okay. So now that I have all the characters and animations in place, the next thing you're going to want to do is make an animation sequence or a level sequence. You're going to, to right click, go to animation, and then level sequence. You're going to get this little pop-up of sequencer and we will go over this um, very quickly. The level sequencer is really easy to use, um, it's just a little tedious. To start, you want to add a new camera, it's going to be the little camera icon above. This is going to be your main camera. You can kind of see a little glimpse of what it looks like on the right hand side. Um, you can alter it, you can set key points for its location throughout the animation. You can set the same thing for like the rotation and uh, if you change like anything about the lens or if you add any filters to it. For the animations, um, you are just going to make sure you have the alien on top of this. You just drag and drop and then you can go into the animations and add any animations that are on that skeleton. So you see the little purple things, those are all the different animations and they're overlapping each other so they can kind of blend together seamlessly. So you can also change the location and rotation, you can change the visibility. Um, these are all like you can key point them so you can turn them off and on or you can change literally anything about this, it's really cool. And as you can see I did the same exact thing for the bigger character that he's fighting. Um, he has his animations and then also I added uh, visibility changes on him as well. 
Um, I added location and rotation. Um, you can do this all in scene and then just pinpoint it on the uh, timeline. Like I said earlier, you can see the animations are slightly overlapping themselves. This is a super handy uh, tip for whenever you're using this. Unreal automatically uh, seams them together, so it slowly goes from one animation to another instead of that quick jump. Um, so it will look more natural than just like a quick snappy animation. You can track anything in the scene, you can track more characters, it's really all up to you. Um, just make sure you keep saving it, and for exporting it as an actual video, you're going to press that little icon, and then you're going to make sure you have it set as video, and then the resolution. Uh, make sure it is compressed a little bit, and then you're going to set the where it's going to go in a file, and then you're going to press export. And that is it. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, quick overview of how you can make a simple animation scene in Unreal. Uh, it's nothing crazy. Anybody can really do it. Um, just get creative and have fun. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!